continue now with 13.6. Here's the H worked out. It's similar to C in the previous video. Um, so moving on to I here, I'm going to square this side and square this side. The left side's quite easy here. Just have negative 2 plus 17y. But on the right side, we have to remember that when we square a binomial, we actually have to take it times itself. Okay? And we end up getting y squared plus 8y plus 16. Spotting that squared, we have to use a different solving technique. And the one we've been using so far is to get all the, the terms onto one side. So we'll add 2 here and subtract 17y. So we'll add 2 and subtract 17y. Draw a cleanup line. We have 0 equals y squared uh, minus 9y plus 18. Then we can factor this into y minus 6 and y uh, minus 3. You can check that out. It'll, it'll work. Um, and then we can use our zero product property, or some of you have a, a shortcut developed for this, and we get y equals 6, y equals 3. Okay. And you can check both of these answers here. It's not a bad idea to do that, and uh, both of the answers will work out. Okay. So taking a look at this problem, very similar to uh, the last one, just the uh, we get um, v minus 2 times v minus 2 here. So we get v squared minus 4v plus 4 equals 3v minus 2. And we'll subtract 3v and add 2 to get all our terms on one side. So we get v squared minus 7v plus 6 equals 0. Then we have v minus 6 and v minus 1 once we factor it. And then this one will yield v equals 6 and this one v equals 1. Okay. If you would test these answers in here, and like I said, it's not a bad idea to test these answers. Um, what you'll find out is that when we put 1 in here, we get negative 1. So putting 1 in here equals the square root of 1, which is, is a false statement. And so therefore, that's called an extraneous solution. And we have to remember to rule that solution out.